Hampton investigators have their hands full after another violent weekend. Three separate shootings sent three people to the hospital. Tonight, the suspects are still on the loose. City is facing a troubling rise in crime this year. Only on 13 News Now, Alex Littlehales gets answers from Hampton's police chief about his plans to deal with the growing problem. The first quarter of 2023 has been fairly awful. Hampton's top cop says the city is ending its first quarter on a low. Three people are in the hospital after three separate shootings across the city this weekend. All victims are in their late 20s. We have uh, typically young males involved in some dispute and the dispute is resolved with gunplay. And in the latest of the three cases, investigators say people riding inside a light colored car fired and shot a man outside of a home on Breckenridge Court. In a sit down with 13 News Now, Hampton Police Division Chief Talbot says it's young men bearing the burden of this rising violence. The average age of our victims this, this year, it's, it's about 30 years old. Uh, the suspects that we've arrested, the average age for those folks is about 25, trending slightly older than I've seen at other points in my career. These shootings come almost two months after Chief Talbot this January noted the single deadliest month he's seen in his time with the division since 2021. Right now, these cases only add to the growing violence. 29 total fatal and non-fatal shooting victims in the city this year alone. In Hampton, I'm Alex Little Hales for 13 News Now. Talbot previously said this recent rise in violence dates back to the last three months of 2022. 